having some technical difficulties here. Oh, I might be one. What's going on here? I do not know what's going on. Oh, there's the things. Now I can see them. I don't know why I couldn't see before. I think I was just blind. I wasn't paying attention. Yes, I was blind. I don't know why. Sorry, guys. It's early in the morning. So we have one sector, two sectors, three sectors, four sectors. Is this a whole sector? No. Looks like this whole entire... Really? Okay. This Apparently, this whole entire left side is a sector. See, this is a map where shenanigans can go down very quickly. This whole entire left... Unless I'm wrong... It uh, looks like right now, because all I see is these lines right here, but it looks like this whole, and maybe right here. So this whole sector can be rused. Now, this is a kind of game on a 2v2 where you can cause so many problems. Uh, there's so many woods, there's so many wooded areas back here, listen, right here, and there's a lot of wooded area here, plus right here. You can completely <laughs> destroy an enemy if they don't see it coming. This is a game where you need recon in this wood, in these woods here and here. To stop these attacks even actually like up here and up here just to see it coming a lot sooner so you can stop it but this is a game where if the usa player mcm starts building an airfield and just pumps out radio silence camo net radio silence bam game over MC our marcel's dead right off the bat so we're going to start this game up see what's going on but this is a game hopefully 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 cross my fingers some ruse cards gets played and some uh, deception happens because most games when you watch 2v2s, it's more straight play. There's not a lot of deception going on. Uh, it's usually because the player's just trying to steamroll each other straight heads on, uh, just counter units. Um, that's not what Roos is about. Roos is about deceiving the uh, the enemy and getting that, that win via, via a backdoor tax or via pretty much confusing them, like the reverted intel, making them think that there's heavy infantry coming or heavy uh, units coming when there's only light coming. Stuff like that you want to deceive them with, but also they make a counter for everything. It looks like right off the bat, oh, I clicked the wrong person. Right off the bat, Bin is just going to start making units. I don't think he knows how to play, possibly. Um, he might be new. I know MCM's played before. I don't know how these two at all, and I do not know Bin, that's for sure. He has no camouflage net. The other two can see exactly what they're doing, and also at the same time, there is four blitzes on the field, or three blitzes on the field. No, I'm right. There's four. They blitzed the center twice. There's four blitzes, so everyone's ruse has been used. Uh, this is some pretty crazy stuff. Looks like only MCM is going to camouflage his base, and he's going to actually put an armor base to start, and he's going to get four depots. A good idea. It's a it's a fairly close distance, but not too close where you can get those depots up. Just maybe get out some defense and uh, stop it quickly. But craziness right off the bat. There's no buildings at all. This is a huge macro game to start. Um, the only one who built anything was Bin, but he didn't cover. Uh, so I'm actually surprised that uh, these two right here built all these depots. Especially when they saw all of these buildings being pumped out right away. It looks like there's going to be possibly a fighter bomber. Yes, it is a fighter bomber HE 111. And like I said before, the Germany team is not good at making air. Uh, not my strong suit. If I was going to play this game, I would get the Germany, the German player to make the ground and get the United States player to make the air. Because the USA air is much, much better than the, than the German air. Um, uh, by far, I just I don't agree with the fact that he's, he's, getting, he's getting fighter bombers and he's getting a light bomber actually now. Oh, they're apparently light bombers. Every time I confuse the word light with fight, so I guess I was wrong. Um, he's going to pump these light bombers out, and the thing is, they know bombers are, they know something's coming, and they know tanks are coming, but they don't know it's it's a ruse. Uh, machine gun nest is coming out. A little bit of, I'm going to take a pro, <laughs> I have not watched this game, I swear, but I'm honestly going to say right now, this game is going to end in 10 minutes, just by the fact that of what I'm watching right now is not what I want to see. There is a machine gun nest coming out, and there's a prototype base uh, coming out, and right now there's two planes, and there is no AA at all. So, <laughs> and this is actually being built as an anti-tank bunker, so there is no AA on the field. I'm just going to call this one right now and say that Team 2 is going to pretty much take a clean sweep. 
but I could be wrong. You don't know that. And there's actually a depot being taken all the way across the middle. Um, right now, this should go down. I don't know why he's actually aiming for the Ford HQ. Uh, he took that down, no big deal, but he could have took out a supply depot, then another supply depot, well, he, well, two planes would take out one depot, but he could have taken out one depot, came back, taken the second depot, came back, take the next depot, came back. I get he's trying to just pretty much cut it off the early, the early spot, but now look, now we've got an air, anti-air bunker to deal with and he's going to be in trouble and these planes won't do anything at all. He only has two depots, he's not pumping out an economy uh, very well, very fast. So pretty much failed attack. He only maybe got what 30 points. I think a USA base is 30 points. Actually, it could be 20. So pretty much just pumped out 20 points to get. Or pretty much all those planes to get 20 points. Not the best idea. So here comes an armor base. It looks like the heavy macro game. I mean, it looks like I'm going to be wrong to start. As usual, this game will not be 10 minutes long. But you never know, there's only one AA nest uh, protecting this entire base. There's nothing else, unless he's getting, I don't know what USA has for anti-air for armored. I don't think there's anything in the proto base that stops armored. It looks like he's going to just take this. This is going to be pretty much clean sweep. He's going to take this down, this down, this down. Guarantee, there's no question about it. Nothing's going to be taken. Like, there's this is easily all going to die. He's about to get 120 points for free. And he's going to lose 120 right off the bat. I don't know what this guy's building. Uh, this is sort of disappointing. This is sort of um, upsetting me. The fact that my very, very, very last game I'm ever going to do is going to be uh, <laughs> is going to be this two v two, which looks like just utter failure by the by team one. I would not be surprised if they got shut out, but it probably won't happen just because this AT will probably take out this tank. But regardless, he's going to be sending out some uh, tanks here, and here comes these 88s. These 88s will shoot these two uh, these tanks here, and they'll realize that there's none. And he'll say, oh no, I just made those 88s for no reason. But regardless, here comes the planes. The planes are going to bomb the crap out of this right here. I have no idea what he's researching in this base. It's been taking a while. I'm just going to keep it on him. I believe I picked the right person. Yes, I did. I'm just going to keep it on him, and I'm going to just see what he looks like. He's going to bomb these. Finally, he's going to bomb the depots, thankfully. He's going to take them down and get these point totals. I'm just going to see what he's going to pump out here. I want to know Oh, he's going to be making long toms. Oh my goodness. Okay, so anyway, like I said, my prediction is going to be right. This game is going to be over in 10 minutes. Um, Let's go with the... No, maybe not 10 minutes because there's only 4 minutes left. But let's just say... Let's just say due to my great wisdom, <laughs> I'm assuming this long tom, and he's actually retreating. I have no idea what MCM is doing. Um, he could pretty much probably push. Uh, if he pushed with a, a fanaticism blitz, push this bunker, I guarantee he'd probably take it down with four tanks. I know it, there's, there's not a ton of tanks, but four tanks should be able to take down this a or AT bunker. Uh, it's only this one he's got to worry about. Uh, let's see what Marcel's actually going to build. He's going to build an anti-air bunker right here. And right here. Oh, he's building one right here. So he's going to... Okay, so again, he's going to build an anti-tank bunker in front of these four tanks. So let's go with... Who wants to take odds on how successful this will be? I'm going to go with a pretty 0%. And there's also uh, more... It looks like uh, he's actually got Mitchell's finally coming on the field. So he'll be able to take these down. These will actually one-shot buildings. Uh, these Mitchells are much stronger than, uh, like I said, if you want to get air, is it in a 2v2 with a German USA player, you're going to get the USA player to get the air first, just because they're much stronger. So let's watch. Oh, do not want to quit. Stop pressing that quit button. I don't like it there. It's not a very good button to press. So I'm pretty much going to uh, just slow it down. Or I'm not even slow it down. I'm just going to pretty much wait. Uh, look, they're going to bomb it. They're going to take this down. Now he's going to push. There goes that easy surprise attack by the unit. Looks like he, oh my god, looks like he's going to actually just...